Welcome back to Outdoor guys. If you're new here, my name's Brian. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Vortex Diamondback HD binoculars. I picked these up from Bass Pro for $229.99. I'm new to binoculars. I don't know a ton about them. Um, basically in this video, we're just going to unbox these and I'm going to tell you what I think about them. Let me put that on vibrate right quick. I am a little bit familiar with Vortex because I have a lot of their rifle scopes and I have some of their shotgun scopes. So I'm going to tell you right now, chances are I'm going to like these because Vortex has an awesome warranty. They stand behind their products. Their glass is excellent. Like I said, I'm a fan already. I've had a pair of binoculars before, but I picked these up because these are, I like to get deals on things and I feel like these are the best bang for your buck. For what you're getting, it's an awesome price and the quality is also good because I've had experience with Vortex in the past. But I'm going to go over the specs real quick with you. First I'll go over the warranty. It's the VIP warranty. It's an unlimited, unconditional lifetime warranty. Uh, the warranty does not cover loss, theft, deliberate damage, or cosmetic damage not affecting product performance. And that's right there on the box. Let's see. The size of these binoculars are 5.7 inches by 5.1 inches. They weigh 21.3 ounces. The eye relief is 15 millimeters. Field of view, angular is 6.3 degrees at 1,000 yards, 330. Closed focus is 5 feet. Interpupillary distance, I guess that's saying, um, 55 to 73 millimeters included you get the glass pack binocular harness comfort neck strap tethered objective lens covers rain guard eyepiece cover you can go over to vortexoptics.com if you guys want to dig into these a little bit deeper um, i'm going to run down these features real quick hd optical system fully multi-coated lenses dielectric prism coatings phase correction armor tech Argon gas purged, rubber armor, shockproof, and tripod adaptable. All right, let's go ahead and unbox these. It does say on the box these were made in China. I don't think that really matters. Drop the straps there. And they come in this nice case. You get the little instruction manual, um, shows you how to focus on them and put the bino case on, um, how to take care of the lenses, and then you get another little direction sheet on how to properly attach the binoculars to your case. But alright, let's go ahead and get into these. I really like this case. I think it's awesome that, you know, this comes with these binoculars right out of the box. You don't have to buy anything extra. Pretty cool, you want to strap it just like that. They come nice and protected in plastic. <laughs> I'm throwing stuff. That's just a, a lens, like little cloth to clean your lens. And there you go, guys. I really like the coating on it. I know it's like a feels like a rubber coating. And then you also get your caps for the eyepiece there and then for your lenses down here, which is really cool. Um, these actually, let me show you this way, these stay on and just flip down, just like that. And then your eyepiece here, these just come off as one piece, okay? And um I want to look through these. I'm going to try to do something to show you guys inside of these. All right, that's a little stiff. Like, I had to press pretty hard to get them to kind of go down so it fits my eyes. But, all right, I'm looking out over the water. I live on the water, and I can see all the way across the river, which I know is over a mile. Um, I'm not totally zoomed in on it, but I can see it pretty good. Here's your focus right here. You just turn this knob until, you know, whatever you're looking at comes into focus. And then you can also adjust the eyepieces here. Let me see something. Yeah, you can also adjust them and it kind of 
gets wider and skinnier. You got your little pieces here that attaches to your your case and your straps. But they're lightweight guys. They're not heavy at all. Like they are awesome weight. I can see if you were like on a spot and stalk hunt or something or you're just glassing you can carry these things all day i'm sure with no issue i really like how light they are i'm not like a um binocular uh, fanatic or i have a lot of experience with binoculars but i wanted to pick a pair up for hunting i don't have a nice pair i've only owned about one pair before the spot i hunt is not really i'm not shooting long distance it's pretty thick in some spots so but I wanted to have a nice pair in case I ever do go on like a guided hunt where I need to glass some stuff. Or I think they come in handy too if you're looking at a new property and you're trying to figure out where the deer are. Um, you can always put binoculars to use somehow. And I think it's something everybody that hunts should have a pair of. And I felt like these were very affordable for what you're getting. And like I said, these... The glass in this looks good to me. I don't have any real expensive binoculars to compare. I'm sure they get better, but I think for your average hunter, these are excellent. And I think, you know, everybody will appreciate them. And I think for somebody that's a beginner with binoculars, I think they're great. They fit the, the hunting slot needed for a pair of binoculars to pretty much cover you, um, you know, for a lot of hunting situations. So... I'll link them down in the description below if you guys want to pick these up. Like I said, I just wanted to unbox them with you guys. You know, wanted to tell you how I felt about them. And I like them. I really do. I like the size of them. They're not real big. Um, they're not heavy, like I said. You can tell they're made solid. Um, and Vortex's warranty. A company that has a great warranty. I really love supporting. Um, they make awesome products. And uh, this is another one. But um, that's my opinion on them. If you guys uh, like these types of videos or this helped you out, drop a comment down below. Let me know uh, what you thought about the video. And if you picked up a pair, give this video a like. If you like hunting reviews, make sure you smash that subscribe button down and subscribe to Outdoored. Ring that notification bell too, guys, so you get all my new content first. Please make sure you share this video. Um, don't take a lot of time but it really helps me out it helps you know get this in front of more people especially if somebody's looking for a pair of these i actually had these vortex binoculars sitting around for a couple months since i bought them because i didn't want to unbox them without you guys so i hope you appreciate it and thanks for watching and i really hope you get something out of this video i do other hunting reviews you can check them out on my channel i'll link some of them below I just wanted to show you guys this pack on with the Vortex 10x42 Diamondback HD binoculars in the case. It's got a clip here and then it's got a clip here so you can unclip them and it goes around your waist. Plus you got this strap here that goes, connects right to the binoculars. So you open this up. and you're glassing, you can just drop them and they're going to hang, okay? It's a really nice case. Um, that's the inside of it. I don't know how good you can see that. It's like a, a nice soft material in there. Then it's got a side pocket here. It's got a side pocket here. It's real easy to clip and unclip this. I like the way they made that. And then back here, it has like a zipper and you can put something down in there. So it's got like three pockets on it. So if you wanted to keep something else in there, you can do that. I just got my, um, my lens cloth in there, but I just wanted to give you guys a rundown of the case so you could see it on me and uh, show you a little bit about it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I like the case. The case is really comfortable too, guys. So, you know, a lot of people are gonna be carrying it all day. I don't see it being any issue at all. I found this little side piece, this quick connect. It's got a clip on it. I'm not sure what that goes to. I don't know if you can connect that right to your binoculars too. There's another safety clip to it. It has attachments here. The, the bag's got straps everywhere so you can control the tightness of it. 
um, pull it, you know, tight to your body or however tight or loose you need it to fit you. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. You have officially been outdoors.